Welcome to the second video in Pearl Eco's education series on the carbon markets. In the first video, we looked at carbon markets and carbon credits. In that video, we talked about voluntary and compliance markets. Today, we will take a deeper dive into the voluntary market and learn about some of the terminologies you will come across and introduce you to two of the standards organizations. VCM stands for Voluntary Carbon Market, meaning the markets that are driven by voluntary commitments from organizations or individuals to reduce their carbon footprint and attain a goal of net zero. Within the VCM, VERA, formerly known as the Verified Carbon Standard and Gold Standard, are two of the most widely recognized voluntary carbon standards. Both VERA and Gold Standard provide a framework for the quantification, certification, and verification of greenhouse gas emission reduction or removal projects. Both standards ensure that projects are real, additional, measurable, verifiable, and permanent, which helps to maintain the integrity and credibility of the carbon market. Both standards allow project developers to issue carbon credits, which can be bought and sold on the voluntary carbon market. Of the two organizations, VERA has a broader scope and covers a wider range of project types, including forestry and land use projects, renewable energy, energy efficiency, and waste management. Gold Standard is more focused on renewable energy and energy efficiency projects, although it also certifies some land use projects. Let's start with VERA and look at some of the methodologies that are supported. Clean Development Mechanism, or CDM, methodologies were developed by the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change to facilitate the implementation of emission reduction projects in developing countries. VERA recognizes certain CDM methodologies as eligible for use in the voluntary carbon market, such as the Large-Scale Renewable Energy and Small-Scale Hydropower Projects methodology. These methodologies typically involve the installation of renewable energy technologies or energy efficiency measures and the issuance of carbon credits based on the resulting emissions reductions. VERA also provides a range of methodologies for the quantification of carbon sequestration in forestry and land use projects, such as the improved forest management methodology. These methodologies typically involve the sustainable management of forests or other land use activities that result in increased carbon sequestration and the issuance of carbon credits based on the resulting carbon removals. Additionally, VERA provides a number of methodologies for calculating the emissions reductions resulting from energy efficiency measures, such as the energy efficiency and fuel switching for buildings methodology, methodologies for the quantification of emissions reductions in agriculture and livestock projects, and methodologies for quantifying emissions reductions in waste management projects, such as the landfill gas capture and destruction methodology. The VERA standard provides a framework for the certification and verification of carbon credits generated through Red Plus projects. Red Plus stands for Reducing Emissions from Deforestation and Forest Degradation and is a United Nations-led initiative aimed at reducing carbon emissions by incentivizing developing countries to conserve their forests and reduce deforestation. Red Plus projects typically involve the implementation of sustainable forest management practices, afforestation or reforestation activities, or other measures that result in increased carbon sequestration in forests. The voluntary carbon market plays an important role in supporting Red Plus projects by providing a source of funding for these initiatives. Companies and individuals can purchase carbon credits generated through Red Plus projects, which not only helps to finance these activities, but also allows them to offset their own carbon emissions. This creates the market-based mechanism that provides an economic incentive for developing countries to protect their forests and reduce carbon emissions. In the context of Red Plus, it should be noted that the gold standard also provides a framework for the certification and verification of carbon credits generated through these projects. Like VERA, the gold standard provides assurance to buyers that carbon credits are real, additional, measurable, and verified, and that projects meet strict environmental and social criteria. 
The Gold Standard Red Plus certification requires projects to demonstrate that they not only achieve a significant reduction in greenhouse gas emissions and that they provide benefits to local communities, as well as maintain biodiversity and ecosystem services. The standard also requires projects to adhere to internationally recognized principles for sustainable forest management, such as the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and the Convention on Biological Diversity. Gold Standard has its own certification body that conducts the verification process, whereas VERA allows project developers to choose from a range of third-party auditors to verify their projects, which has allowed VERA to scale to represent some 70% of the VCM. So now, you know a little more about two of the standards organizations in the voluntary carbon market. These organizations are important, as they will be the bodies to eventually approve carbon credits issued by projects listed as Pearl Eco Future Carbon, or PFCs, on the Pearl Eco Carbon Exchange. Not all carbon credits are the same. Which methodology is used and what standard they are issued under are all aspects that impact market demand for specific carbon credits and their valuation. We will be covering these topics in more detail in future episodes, but for now, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when we drop more carbon market education content in the future. But for now, thank you for watching and see you next time.